I was taking the summer off and I got this call from my old pal, Ted Kotcheff, who's been running SVU for a long time. He directed me in a film before uh, Will and Grace, actually, uh, a movie of the week with Roman Downey. And uh, we've, stayed, we've stayed in touch. And, and for many years, he's like, you gotta come. You gotta come and do an SVU for me. So, uh, so this was finally, this was the time and I'm delighted. This is a character who's a successful guy, um, divorced, and uh, you know, rather than meeting another nice woman his own age, um, basically goes online and finds a much, much younger woman and helps her financially. It's virtually prostitution uh, on a website. And uh, she ends up dead, and he, he looks like the, the suspect. Um, I loved him. I, I loved his character. I loved, uh, I loved everything. Everything I loved about it, my, my wife didn't. She was like, so really, there's going to be a lot of young women in their 20s in this episode, and I'm like, I, I, maybe? Maybe they'll get older women that play young. Or men in drag. I don't know. It was, uh, it's, it's, he's, a, he's a funny guy. He, he's a guy that, has, that gets everything he wants uh, uh, until, until this happens, and it all starts to fall apart. So when, uh, when Benson and Stabler first meet him, he's, uh, he's a little full of himself. He, he, he thinks he can get away with anything. I love, I'm in my 40s, and I think all guys in, in their mid-40s are trying to keep up with, with, with music and what's going on with the culture and with technology, and this, this is a guy that, that's doing it. He's, he's in there. He's dating young women. He's made his fortune with, with the, the latest cutting-edge technology. I'm none of those things, but it was a nice stretch for me. They're great. They are, uh, they're clearly good friends, and... Uh, Clearly very welcoming. I, I, can't, I can't think of another set that I'd rather be on at this point. I, I, hope, I, I hope I never leave. On a show like this, any of the Law & Orders, sometimes the guest stars get the greatest stuff to do because they got to solve the crimes. We, we get to commit them. So it's, uh, it's, there's always going to be some weird quirk. And uh, luckily with this show, I think of all of them, these two characters in particular have had the most, from what I've seen, other life than com compared to, say, the first Law and Order. Or I mean, the uh, Mariska and, and Chris's characters. We, we've met the other people in their lives. We've seen their pain. We, so we get. So when they have an episode where it's more about the guest stars, we still know the, their backstories, and it, I think it helps to make them matter more. I think what makes television shows last a long time is, is chemistry. I mean, the, the scripts can be great. If, if you're not really jiving, it can only, the love can only go so far. I think people really dig uh, Chris and Mariska together. Um, I think women are, are obviously attracted to him, but they're really attracted to her as, as, a, as a role model. And I think that the nature of these stories is just a little bit more emotional. Um, it's, it's not so much just a, just uh, solving the crime. The crime gets us in the gut every time because it is, it is about victims, it is about women, almost always, and uh, we all have sisters and, and mothers, so.